Now for this part of the question, we're told that the water is actually flowing into this bowl at a rate of pi over 800 cubic meters per second. And we're asked to find the rate of change of height when h equals 0 0.1. Now this rate of change here, rate is the rate of change of volume with respect to time. You can see it in the units here, cubic meters per second. So what we're given is essentially the rate of change of volume with respect to time, dv by dt. So how are we going to find the rate of change of height when h equals 0 0.1? Well, we have to use connected rates of change here. We're being asked then the rate of change of height, that is dh by dt. Now, to work out dh by dt, we use the chain rule. In other words, it's dh by d something times the same d something by dt. It's as if these cancel out. But what is that d something going to be? Well, when you look at this question, the only other letter that really seems to be in it is v. So it's going to be dv that we use. And so we're connecting here two rates of change. Now in the previous part, we worked out what dv by dh was when h was 0 0.1. So we can say then that when h equals 0 0.1, dh by dt, let's just put it down here, therefore dh by dt is going to equal dh dv, well we've got dv dh, so we just need to reciprocate this, so that's going to be 1 divided by 0 0.04 pi, and that's multiplied by dv by dt when h is 0.1 and we know that whatever h is this is coming in at a constant rate so that's always going to be pi over 800. So just simplify this the pi's cancel and if you do 1 over 0 0.4 0 0.4 I should say times 800 you get exactly 1 over 32. And 1 over 32 you could express as a decimal if you want to. If you do it's going to be 0 0.03125 and I suppose you could round that say to three significant figures. If you did then to three significant figures it's going to be 0 0.0313 okay to three significant figures 3SF. And the units here as well would be useful because we've got a rate of change of height with respect to time. So that's going to be the height which is in meters, time is in seconds, so it's meters per second. I would leave it as 1 over 32 though, you get the exact value that way. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then how to go about that.